Welcome to Luca, Italy. Good morning, friends from the Good morning, friends from the Florence train station. I'm headed to Luca today, but already this morning we've had hmm, quite the morning. I looked at the departures board and realized that my train was not on there. We're supposed to depart at 7.27, so we were up at 6 a.m. Ah, that's because I booked the wrong ticket. I booked from Luca Fiorenze twice, like two return tickets instead of one there, one back. Luckily you can just buy tickets at the station here, like with the ticket machine. Now we're just waiting 11 minutes to depart and it's an hour and 40 minute train ride. But I've heard Luca's not that big to explore, so we have a return ticket at 2.30. And uh, yeah, we'll see how the day goes. And my anxiety is like really high this morning. I already took something to help me relax a little bit, but um, I think just being on a train and being my, by myself again is making me like panicky. I like to point out about this train is that there is charging stations or electrical outlets. It only costed me eight euros. Right now it's empty, but it does make stops, so I'm planning that there will be people on board. It's a regional train, so it's stopping many times throughout some small towns. It's not like stopping and just sitting for a while. I think they just have to wait for other trains to pass to come in to go on the tracks. So I think if my calculations are correct, we should get there in about 20 minutes. I've just been on my phone um, doing emails and some freelance work, but I also realized, man, I'm just like not on it today. First the ticket and second, I didn't bring my plug-in, I call it the QB, so I can't charge my phone on the train. But I'm getting hungry, so I think it's snack time soon. We're just pulling up to... One second. We're at Alto Pasicho. This train is so empty. I'm pretty sure this is the station I want, but honestly, like, there's so little people on the train. You can't even tell that this is the final destination, so... We're just, there we go. We're just assuming that it's the right one because I saw one sign for Luca, so yeah. Oh, here comes the conductor. Okay, we know it's final destination if he's getting off. All right, in Luca, I wasn't really recommended a ton to do, but two things that I was recommended was the tower. I'm so gonna butcher this name. A G, G O G G or G O J G. Also, the walls that are surrounding. Look. 
decided to stop for instance. So, a little bit of azucaro. I know mellow means apple. No clue what the first word was. Basically an apple pastry. And this cost it two euros and 30 cents. So for me, it was well worth it because just an espresso in Canada would cost three Canadian and this is already, like this would be like six bucks in Canada. But the espressos are so bitter still for me. I'm too lazy to ask for a cappuccino with soy milk, so I just get espressos. Delicious apple tart and espresso as always. Can't go wrong with Italian coffee. Good thing we did stop because the tower doesn't open until 10 a.m. So I enjoy early morning travel, but one downside to it is that sometimes historical landmarks are not yet open. Now when they said a wall surrounded the city, I think they really meant it. Walk into the archway and now officially in the city of Lucca or at least more city center but I have lost my view of the Giugini something like that tower we'll find it following a map now should I be probably but I think some of the fun is walking down streets that are just People walking streets area personnel. I know that this town is not so big. The chances of me actually getting really lost are smaller than in Florence where I get lost like right away. Time to read some signs. Oh my God. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, hello. I would tell you how I got here, but I don't remember. It's like a five minute walk from the train station. That's where. against going up the bell tower it's not even 10 o'clock yet because the Giugini tower which opens at 10 a.m. <coughs> my allergies here are so shit it opens at 10 a.m. and I was suggested to go up that so what's the point of going up two towers when it's going to be the same view so I'm gonna go inside the cathedral and then I will find it Giugini when my Italian friends see this vlog they're gonna be so upset with how I pronounce that. I am the first person inside today. Wow, wow. I'm the first one, and now there's two. Never seen an Italian cathedral. Three euros? Sounds good. Let's take a quick pause and subscribe to my channel. It's free for you. Free 99 as we like to call it. You can also like this video which helps my engagement a ton and helps me continue to travel to see amazing places like this.
Tower, the Jijuan, Jiujin, camera on focus on it, but that's okay because we're going to go up it anyway. We just paid five years to enter the Weniji Tower. I asked her to pronounce it for me <laughs> because I cannot, so Weniji Gua. It's like a blah, weird sound. Weniji. explained in my Florence video how I don't like heights and these stairs are a little bit more sketchy. Let me put the camera away so I don't fall. tour group that's taking a path of the corner so I can't get to the other side but the landscape here is just stunning it's super humid so there's still that kind of cloud and fog underneath the the landscape but it's really cool to see how many churches there are it's pretty pretty special I would say it's worth five euros to see the view of Luca I will do this. I will go new school and go on the phone. I'm sorry. I will show you on. I will uh, look because I don't actually know where I am. Oh, you don't know where you are. I think it's the Saint Maria Gate, though. Saint Maria Gate. Yeah. You're on the edge of the. Saint Maria. Yes. So you're on the edge, and the wall goes all the way around. Yeah, I know. Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. <laughs> me is the Santa Maria gate or fort that is you can get up to above the wall I am walking on the wall right now folks and you can see just how much Luca was kind of covered in that makes no sense covered in was protected by the outside world like it's literally a wall surrounding the town I've decided to walk around the whole city of Lucca. The pathway above this um, wall is really, really nice. And probably the best way to explore is actually by bike, but I don't have the budget for a bike. So right now we are just literally walking on top, on top of the wall. Fun has emerged because I am so sweaty wearing jeans. I think it's quite funny because you literally, you know the joke like you have to be in the inner circle? Well here there literally is an inner circle surrounded by a wall. So I 
am in the inner circle right now, and then we have the outside circle. Sorry for the weird angle. We just picked up some sort of lunch. A sandwich or a panini from Pan di Strada. And of course, a tea. I was obsessed with Fanta in Spain and France, but here I'm obsessed with this peachy drink. And this is just mozzarella, oregano, and tomato, obviously a veggie one. And there is plenty of meat options, but this only costed Four euros, and I bet the mozzarella is molto buono. Bread's a little crispy for my liking. I don't mind doughy, like chewy bread. Pretty good. My only mistake was I need to use the bathroom, so why did I choose a place that does takeout? I didn't make it all the way around the town walking, but I did make it back to the port I walked in from the train station. Puerto Pietro. So I basically walked the whole town in like two hours. Ciao. We're gonna eat for one more espresso before I get back on the train. This one's two euros, which may not seem like a lot, but folks, it should be like one, one twenty. Cappuccino was three. Should be a good one. But it's in a hyper touristy town, but I'm hoping they have a washroom as well. Hyper touristy part of town. We are leaving Luca already. So from about 9.30 to 2.30, I have been here. It's not even 2.30. And I feel like I've seen almost all the touristy things that you could see. I'm sure there is some hidden gems and things in the surrounding area that are magical. But hang on. But for now, that's enough. <laughs> yes, that coffee shop for sure had no toilet. Anyway, we're heading back to the train station. I know on the trains we're covered. All right, that concludes Luca for you. I think this is an amazing little town to visit. Um, I would say overall the food was a little bit cheaper. My train ticket was eight euros from Florence, so I think it's well worth a visit. And you don't really need to stay here. You can basically spend half a day because I've done it in about five hours. And then you can say you've been to Luca. Thank you for watching. If you didn't subscribe at the beginning when I gave you five seconds to do so, please subscribe. It really helps me to keep catching trains. Look at this one. It's a little bit older of a train. As the train's leaving, so am I. Thank you so much for watching. Also, if you like seeing me drink coffees, last thing, you can buy me a coffee if you head to the link below in my description. Ciao for now. Lady's looking at me like I'm cuckoo as I'm filming. Free tip, but I didn't get a clip. That rhymed.